Good morning. Uh, it's Thursday. This will be the last for this week. Um, uh, just doing five days a week. Considering taking some, at least, of December off from doing these daily devotions, so I uh, hope that doesn't uh, adversely affect you. Last week we had strange news from a pastor of Westmore Park Baptist Church, my former church, where I have lots of dear friends, and the pastor there died uh, suddenly. Uh, nothing to do with COVID, no, no known health problems. Jem Sewell, a great man of God, leader, faithful servant, lover of God's people. I'm going to go over there today and just uh, chat to a few people. This morning I had news that uh, family in our church had a bereavement as well. I'm going to try and go over there tomorrow. These are some of the uh, sadnesses, but also the privileges of ministry to be able to represent God in situations of loss and grief. These are, as many people have said, and it's almost a cliche, these are difficult times. Unprecedented is the word. You can talk about the unprecedented use of the word unprecedented. I just want to share you a couple of verses from uh, 1 Peter 4. Verse 12 says, Do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal you are going through to test you, as if it was something unusual, something surprising. We get used to the idea that life is normal, particularly in the West. But it's not unusual to go through times of suffering a fiery ordeal. There it was probably persecution. Today it's COVID-19, but we shouldn't be surprised by these things. What should be our response? Well, to know that it's a test of our faith and of our obedience to God. There is a purpose. And then at the end in verse 19, it says, uh, Those of you who are suffering according to God's will should commit yourselves to your faithful creator and continue to do good. So there are two responses there. One is, to commit ourselves to our faithful creator. God is faithful. Whatever you're going through, God is faithful. And he will not let you down. I was talking to somebody yesterday who's having trouble with their faith, and they're saying, I haven't really got hold of God, but God's got hold of me. And they're doing their best to get away from God, but God wouldn't let them. God's got hold of you. And secondly, continue to do good. I know that for myself, um, suffering a lifetime of depression at different times, one of the helpful things is to serve others and to take my eyes off myself, but to devote myself to other people. I often think that the reason God called me into ministry was that uh, uh, he would keep help me to keep my faith. Uh, I'd stay out of depression more than I would be otherwise because I have to serve others. Somehow I have to find reserves of faith and spirituality which I don't really find natural in order to bless and to serve other people. Let's turn our eyes off ourselves and turn our eyes onto other people. I'm not saying that in a harsh way. Sometimes we are going through hard times and yet there's always somebody worse off. Always. So maybe ask God to highlight for you somebody that you can serve today. It may be a phone call, might be a text message, might be something practical, might be something spiritual. Pray for them, whatever it is. But do good. The song says, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face. Well, turn your eyes upon other people as well. Turn your eyes upon them and try to see what you can do to do good in their lives. And remember that God is your faithful creator. And don't be surprised at what you're going through. It's actually normal in a fallen world that from time to time we will go through difficult things. I don't say that to be harsh or judgmental or condemning of anyone watching this. I want it to be a comfort to you. God knows what he's doing. He is faithful. And he has a task for you to perform however bad you're feeling today. He has something for you to do for other people. So Father God, please lead us to the people you want us to serve. Lead us to the people you want us to bless today. Amen. Great. So just to remind you, uh, tonight at Breathe, uh, 
on Facebook Live at 7 o'clock. Uh, we'll be looking at the theme of marriage. There'll be a panel and a question time. On Sunday, the uh, 29th, we have our Mission Sunday. We have a guest preacher at the English Language Service, Jo Herbert James, and she's going to be talking about justice as part of mission. In the afternoon at 1.30 will be our French Language Service. In the evening on Sunday, on Instagram at KCBC London, will be our Instagram program on apologetics. I'll be interviewing Seidel Bornerges, who is a um, lecturer in apologetics at Spurgeon's College. Uh, in the following week, uh, we hope to have our services in the building and to live stream them, but we will keep people informed about that. God bless you. God be with you. And he is with you. Amen.